every time I'm <laughs> recording, I forget to stuff that little piece of clothing, darling, back in there. Back in that closet. But y'all enjoy the, the ghetto-ness, I think. The ratchetness, I hope, um, of the videos. Now, I'm not feeling my best, darling. I got the booster shot um, yesterday. And my arm is killing me. I can only lift. I got it in this arm. I can only lift it so high, darling. I did not um, go to work. Would have did this videos earlier, but I just wasn't feeling it. Child, I've been laying around. <clears throat> I took me a little shot of coffee, darling. And um, so I'm here with you guys. I love you to pieces. Okay. Real Housewives of New Jersey. Let me see. What happened last week? Hmm. So I think Louie, which is Teresa's new boyfriend, he set up a whole situation for Teresa, um, some of her girls, the ones that were available, um, Joe, Joe Gorga, and um, Melissa, to come over and kind of hash things out. It was a nice meeting. You can tell that the girls, Teresa's girls, are still harboring some feelings about their uncle, and it is a tough situation to be in. I myself um, sometimes struggle with having disagreements with your elders and how you should approach the situation because they're always going to look at you as a child and you don't ever want to be disrespectful, but you also want to be taken seriously. And I also want you to hear, understand and um, respect my feelings and, and, Hopefully, we can move past it and become better. But everybody does not have that same um, uh, capabilities, uh, headspace. Um, and, and Joe Gorga is very much so taking it from a place. I'm over you. You're my nieces. I'm the uncle. You're supposed to respect me. I get that. But at the same time, I'm hurting right now. You hurt me. We're growing up. Let's talk, you know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, but this particular situation, I just think that it's, um, <clears throat> I'm more so leaning towards Joe's side on this particular situation because the girls, y'all, y'all just love y'all daddy as y'all should, but y'all were not there when a lot of the stuff went down. And y'all were young, y'all were children, and I'm sure your parents blocked you from seeing a lot of stuff. So, you know, as long as you have that mindset, then I think that you'll be fine. And Joe has agreed to just not bring up um, their father in a um, disrespectful way, at least in front of them. And so hopefully he honors that because um, I think that's important. Um, what else is going on? We see Dolores. Um, now, mind you, I'm I'm reviewing both shows, so I'm probably going to be mi bouncing and mixing it and everything. Both episodes. Um, we see Dolores. She's talking to her kids. Now, Dolores and... Is his name Frank? Yeah, but what's the other guy's name? The one that she broke up with. Mm, is it Eric? I don't know. But Dolores um, and her boyfriend, they broke up. And, you know, um, so the guys, the kid's father is staying in the house. Uh, Frank, which is her ex. Frank has a girlfriend. Um, Dolores is really kind of messy. I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time reviewing this show. Dolores kind of got a messy streak in her. I'm not sure if this is just Dolores or if she's just showing out. Because her life is kind of in shambles right now. I'm thinking that it's the latter. Um, because it's just, it's a lot. She's, she's, she's going off, off the deep end. It's a lot that's happening. Um, they were saying on Twitter that she's trying to keep her job. So maybe Dolores is um, acting out because she wants to remain on the show. Y'all know that's, that's a real thing, right? Because um, she's staying in this little tiny house. I don't know why. I hate that town, how she stays in the design of it, the structure. And you got to walk up all those steep ass stairs. It's one wrong slip and your ass is like you tore up. And Dolores, you're not no young girl no more. 
one wrong slip. And then she always be inviting people over to the house drunk. And I'm sure she got a wine closet and, and a liquor drawer and all that stuff. And what if you slip and fall one day, Dolores? God forbid. Twist your ankle. You hit this step, hit that step, flip over all the way down to the floor. Like, it's ridiculous the way those steps are made. It's like a mountain. It's, mm -mm. I don't know what you was thinking. You should have got you some all on one flow. Or at least, like, his steps going up to the place. And then that's it, sis. Because, my God. Mm -mm. I'm not even, you know, I'm, I'm 32. But I don't, I'm not, I'm just not a fan of steps like that. Um, a couple of steps, you know, it's, it's, it's fine, whatever. But I don't, mm -mm. I just be wanting to walk into my house. I just want to carry my groceries in, put them up, and sit my ass down. But, hey. To each his own, and I'm staying in an apartment right now with steps. So this is my dream, <laughs> Dolores. Maybe we can get a place together, Dolores. Also, Happy Black History Month, Dolores, my nigga. They show pictures of um, Dolores when she was younger. She looked the same way, had that same deep ass, dark ass dance, and right there looking like me. I don't know. Beautiful woman, though. She is. Okay. Um, Tracy, Tiki Barber's wife. She's trying her hard to get, um, what the hell they hold on New Jersey? Shot glasses. I don't know. But she's she's ready to be one of those girls. She's trying to be on the cast. I do like Tracy, but I just don't think she's interesting enough, in my humble opinion. But I do like her. She seems cool. And I'm um, genuine for the most part. Um... So, what else is going on? And Tiki probably also don't want his tea spilled across the web, child. Because I'm sure there's some tea there. Mm. I want to know about his twin brother, too. Tiki got a twin. Very cool. I like twins. Um, Margaret is hilarious. Margaret is probably the messiest, messiest of them all. It's so interesting. All of them are sitting around talking about Louis, which is Teresa's boyfriend. They all say they like him. He's charming. He's handsome. He treats her well so far, but I don't trust him. It's something about him and the whole thing with the with the cult and him running around naked with the guys in the forest and all that kind of stuff. It's just, my God, my God, my God. Um, So they decided to go to a bowling alley, I believe. I forgot who set this up. It doesn't matter. Uh, side note, all the guys on the show is super close. They seem like they're real friends versus the other franchises where the guys don't really talk to each other, barely. Um, but they seem like they're real friends, like they're real. This is a close-knit group of people. Um, so we get to the little bowling alley situation. Uh, so we have Jennifer, who don't nobody like. She is... Um, Jennifer is talking to... Jackie, I believe. Um, and then Jackie is the one to my recollect to my recollection. If it serves me well, it probably does doesn't. Y'all tell me in the comment section if I'm dead wrong. Um, Jackie was the one that told Dolores that she thinks no Jackie Jackie told Jennifer that she thinks that Dolores is more of a friend to Margaret than she is to Jennifer. And so then Dolores got wind up and she came over to us. She was just like, well, what the hell going on? Why is my name up in this? What's happening? It was like, well, I feel like you're more um, Margaret's friend. And Margaret confirmed, you are more my friend. You are. You are Dolores. Dolores was like, no, I'm both of y'all friends. She was like, Margaret. Uh, Margaret was like, Dolores, Dolores, cut it out. Stop. You're more my friend. You are. Um, so then Jen was just like, Dolores, you can be a better friend, niece. I mean, I wasn't going to say nothing, but since it's out there in the R, I, you can be a better friend to me, daughter. Um, she was like, okay, well, I'll be a better friend. And then Jackie was the one that told Dolores the tea. And so Dolores got mad at Jackie said, but I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this dirty blonde over here telling me what the hell going on. She don't need to be telling me nothing. She was like, this, this, I'm not this. Mind you, they're all drinking. Dolores and Jackie ends up getting into it. Um, Frank, 
comes over and gets Dolores. He was like, look, Dolores grew up on the street. She's a street fighter. Apparently she, you know, be biting hoes, fingernails and toenails off. I don't know. But he said she used to get into fights and she she's about that life. And she was about to um take Jackie's ass out of here. Um, and, and so uh, he went to go get her. And then they calmed down and kind of came to a resolution, kind of. We see Jackie. Jackie is in um, the clinic. She has an eating disorder. Bless her heart. She says she grew up a big girl. She's always been trying to lose weight. She's always battled issues with her weight. And then it just became a problem. And now, you know, we see how small she is now. But she says she's not healthy. She doesn't feel good. She has dizzy spells. Um, her fingertips are always numb. And she, you know, sometimes if she stands up too fast, she gets dizzy and... She just needs help with her eating disorder. And, you know, I appreciate her for, um, you know, bringing awareness to this and talking about this and also getting help and seeking help. And it's nothing to be embarrassed about. And, you know, good for you, Jackie. Good for you. Um, let's see. So everybody, including some of the men, um, they were going to have like a big party or whatever so they met out on the beach they was talking Teresa's on the phone the whole time Teresa's so checked out Teresa know that she is the queen of this franchise Teresa know that she feed all these hoes Teresa know that all these bitches is her sons Teresa know that she's that girl she knows shit don't shake unless she shake it and you know she also knows that they are all talking crap about her and Lewis behind her back um, so they decided to have this big party at Jennifer's home. Um, it's so weird. They all like Jennifer's husband, but they don't like Jennifer. Um, but, you know, I guess they're trying. Margaret and Jennifer had a conversation. They came to some kind of resolution, too. Um, so they're back at Jennifer's home. Teresa spent the night with Jennifer. Um, and then Teresa gets a phone call. And I think it's from Lewis or the producers or somebody. But anyway, Teresa, she storms out. She was just like, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. Y'all keep coming for me and my husband. Well, my future husband. Y'all keep coming for me and my man. Y'all keep coming for me and my relationship. Cut it out. I don't approve. I don't appreciate it. And it's never going to rock with me like that. Straight up. You feel me? And... Jennifer was just like, well, Teresa, what's going on, girl? You know, what's tea? Teresa storms off. She left, child. She left. And so, you know, we're going to see what happens next week, child. It's, it's a mess on the Jersey Housewives so far. They're kind of giving me what I need right now. You know, at least until Atlanta comes on. We're going to see what Atlanta gives, child. I'm trying to be excited for Atlanta, but I don't know. Atlanta, for the past few years, has been very hit and miss. So, we're going to see. Hopefully, it's hidden. Hopefully. But that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google+. Plus. Follow me at Eskinsworth on Instagram and Twitter. At Eskinsworth 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Yeah. Woo. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.